All right, guys, moving on to part two. This is the uh, one continuous pipe made of polys. What we're going to do is we're just going to select the pipe we made and hit delete or hide, whatever you feel like, uh, just to make life easy and make some room. Uh, select the nerves pipe, go to modify, convert nerves to polys and go to the options and just make sure you change the number of U and number of V back to 30 um, and hit tessellate. Uh, just move it aside, uh, make sure grid snapping is on just to make life easy. Um, and next thing we want to do is we want to go to edge mode and we want to select the we want to go to select and select edge loop tool. If you double click the edge, it's not going to select all the loop. So what you have to do is go select, select contagious edges, and this will select all the uh, edges for you. Next thing you want to go to edit mesh and extrude. Hit R on your keyboard and scale it in to whatever you feel like. Um, and then what we want to do is we want to duplicate this pipe. So we're just going to go to object mode, uh, Apple D, and move it aside. Uh, Make sure it's grid snapping's on. Um, move it aside, and then we're going to flip this, so just minus 1 and the Z. Uh, next thing, we want to select the edge of the inner loop, and we're just going to do the same thing. Select, select contagious edges, and this will select all the edges around that loop. Uh, next thing, we want to go to Edit Mesh, Extrude, and in the Z, we want to move it aside. Hold down V, and it will snap to the other vertices. And it's now it's in line. So just hit go into object mode and select both pipes. What we're going to do now is merge these pipes together. And we're just going to go mesh, combine, but they're still not connected properly. So we have to go to vertices. And then we want to select all the vertices that are connecting and go to edit mesh, merge. Now, if you hit merge and it just crumples up and it's merged with the wrong things, um, that's because your threshold's too high, just turn it down. Uh, here I'm just showing you that, yeah, it's one piece now which is awesome, but it's still got holes in the bottom. So to fix this, we're going to go to object mode, select the pipe, and we're just gonna to go to mesh. Yep, mesh and fill hole. But it's not gonna have the right amount of side. So we're gonna to go to face, and we're gonna select that one face, and we're gonna to go to edit mesh, poke face. And this will just divide up the, uh, the face correctly for you. So you won't have any problems later on rendering or unwrapping or texturing or whatever you're doing. And there you go, we've made one continuous poly uh, pipe. And that concludes part two.